All right, ladies and gents, you know what time it is. I'm going to start it off with a non-sponsored Dr. Pepper Zero Banger. God, the sound of that never gets old. Anyway, today we are doing Sabrina Carpenter. This will be the first album I've ever heard of hers, and I feel like it's appropriate. Perfect timing, because her new album is coming out pretty soon. I think it's August, I'm pretty sure. You guys can correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's August. Um, yeah, so I feel like it's perfect timing to finally listen to a whole album of hers. I, you guys know I did a... Uh, uh, music video reaction to uh, her song Please 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 I really liked it so I think I'm going to enjoy this this came out in 2022 so it's been out for a little bit now and it's titled Emails I Can't Send so I'm excited to get into it I feel like it might not be what I'm expecting you know I know it's a, she's a poppy artist that's probably what's going to be on this album but I feel like Please 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 had that unique little twist on it that made it into such a big song that it is so uh i'm excited to get into this so uh yeah i'll stop yapping and let's get it started emails i can't send uh 13 songs it's about 39 minutes track one emails i can't send self-titled Times like these wish I had a time machine So I could see what you did October 13th at 10.15 Were you really asleep? Were you lying to me and the family? There's no us and us when I'm lacking trust You wanna discuss, ugh, you disgust me Don't make me cuss you out Why'd you let me down? Don't say sorry now Thanks to you, I, I can't love right I get nice guys and villainize them Read their texts like they're having sex right now Scared I'll find out that it's oh. true And if I do, then I blame you for every worst that I assume When I'm 45, someone calls me their wife And he fucks our lives in one selfish night Don't think Find forgiveness as fast as mom did And God, I love you, but you're such a dipshit Please fucking fix this Cause you were all I looked up to Now I can't even look at you mm. That's beautiful piano build-up and violins on that I mean, as they say in Chicago, he had it coming. <laughs> they say that everywhere, Sabrina. And they definitely say it over here. Um, Yeah, I like the first track. I really like the instrumental of the slow buildup. It's kind of like, it kind of like ties into her mind of how she's slowly building up over time and getting um, aggravated with this guy. And then it hits the crescendo at the end there that was pretty cool and yeah she's just singing about uh, things that have happened to a lot of people you know somebody cheating uh now i like the part where she sings about where she, when she's 45 that's all she's gonna think about and a dude could fuck it up in one night by doing something stupid so let's get into track number two vicious <laughs> One year, 10,000 bad moments But it was dressed up in heated emotion And I tried to look for the best and the worst But like, fuck me, that caused a commotion You're lucky I'm a private person I like the instrument on this, too I quietly carried your burden And everyone thinks you're an angel But shit, I would probably use different wording Oh, you're so vicious, love me then Pretend you didn't crush my heart and wreck my image Why you gotta be so vicious? You like a certain type of woman 
Oh, I love that. Your insecure could be me, could be her ad libs there in the background. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Said that it was me and you for life. Now you're kind of acting like I died. Oh, you're so vicious. Love me then. Pretend you didn't. Crush my heart. Good shit. Love the instrument on that one too. Love the build up. It took about a minute and 20 seconds to get into it when it finally hits. When it first comes up on the first part of the chorus, I thought it was going to hit right there, but it didn't. She backed off and waited on it. I like when artists do that. When you think what's coming because you're used to what's coming on other songs, but then they switch it up a little bit. It's small things like that that make it make it cool. Um, so far... Also, a thing I'm noticing is her writing is really fucking good. It's like A1. I'm quietly carried your burden. Everyone thinks you're an angel, but shit. I would use a different wording. The way she puts stuff, you're so smart, but neglects intuition. When you're insecure, could be me, could be her. You just run to whoever's winning. Their writing's super fucking good. Um, that one was super catchy, too. Yeah, I like it. Let's go read your mind, track number three. <laughs> And I like how she makes the writing stand out because she puts her voice in the forefront. Oh, that's a nice way. 
nice for her to come out of the violins on that one too. She's got a really good use of violins so far on the album. It just stands out in the production. But that one was more of your typical poppy song. Nothing wrong with it. I really like that one too. That one is like going to be stuck in my head. Um, but this just stands out more to me as a type of different, you know, for the genre. So... So far, I'd say Vicious is my favorite. We're only three tracks in. Let's go Tornado Warnings, track number four. We were never in the park Talking on a seesaw Teetering with our feelings in the dark Ignoring tornado warnings He didn't hold me in his arms We didn't stumble over the pages Of our relationship arc Ignoring tornado warnings don't understand how quickly we get Right back in our rhythm without missing a step And logically the last thing I should have on my mind But I want you there sometimes I guess maybe that's why I'm lying To my therapist I keep saying the build up to the chorus there. Lying to. Yeah, I know. I sing it better. No, I, I know. Somehow in my mind If I could convince him if he doesn't see it, then maybe it doesn't exist. I think he's on to me every time I say I'm over that son of a bitch. I'm lying to my therapist. I drive you home. You drive me crazy. That's not gonna stop me I call you out You call me baby But that's not gonna stop me From lying To my therapist I keep saying things like I never saw him And we never kissed No one thinks somehow I really like that song too, the vibes of it. I'm noticing the ones that are kind of laid back tone that let her lyrics come through and her voice shine. I'm liking more like Vicious and Tornado Warnings. She has a really good voice. It's a soft spoken voice. Not as much soft as Billie Eilish, but it is soft. All right, let's uh, 
Let's go number five because I like the boy. It's hard liking boys. You have to like men. Oh shit. I said I wanted thin mint, and you said you knew a guy. <laughs> thin mint. You showed up with a boombox and stars in your eyes. Who knew cuddling on trampolines could be so reckless? We bonded over black eyed peas and complicated exes. Fell so deeply into it. It was all so innocent Now I'm a homewrecker, I'm a slut I got death threats filling up semi-trucks Tell me who I am, guess I don't have a choice All because I like I'm a hot topic on your tongue Damn I'm a rebound This happens to all the women though, I bet I'm stealing from the young Is super unique. Was only trying to hold you close while your heart was failing. It's not internet illusion, just two kids going through it. You said I'm too late to be your first love, but I'll always be your favorite. Damn. Now I'm a home, I'm a slut. I got death threats filling up. Honestly, like, might be my favorite. I really like the switch up. And the, there was like three different beat switch ups. In the middle, something completely different came in. That might be my favorite to vibe to. Also, the lyrics were awesome. This is something I feel like a lot of people have found a situation in. Even, you know, as a man with a girl. But I know a lot of women have experienced this. You know, he's telling her, oh, you're my favorite. I love you and all this. And now she's a homewrecker. She's a slut. All because she liked this guy who was sweet talking her when he had somebody else. And, uh, yeah, that took a turn of events right there. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of these um, songs have that that uh, theme to them, you know? Let's do a number six, already over. We've been talking for hours, but we shouldn't talk for hours on end. <laughs> That's real, too. Kissing after a conversation about how we'd probably be better off as friends. That's also real. Same time here next weekend. Say we won't do this again. Make me fall where I stand. Only like you can. Yeah. Oh, this is a bop.
Dang, I like... I can't find a song on here that I really don't, like, think is mid or have a distaste for. I, I'm really enjoying all of these. And it sounds like I'm repeating the same shit with these, but it's true. Every time she finds a way to make the song unique. Like, this could have been just another, you know, straight out of the line pop song already over. But the beat switches multiple times, and I love when it gets to the chorus. She puts her voice multiple times on top of herself, and it turns into, like, uh, a choir-type vibe. It's super cool. I mean, she she's really good. Let's go uh, number seven. How many things? You use the fork once. It turns out forks are fucking everywhere. There's no hiding from the thought of us. Oh, I think she's talking about like a fork in the road. I was like, I got ways to find you anywhere. I was like, are you not from America? I don't. Forks everywhere, bro. We sat on the roof once. God, her voice is nice. Conversation took us everywhere. And I love when the production lets her voice shine. And we talked until the sun came up. I wish we stayed just like we were up there. I consider you, I'm not trying to It doesn't matter whether or not I want to I can't help it, it's a habit Your corner in my mind is well established I, I wonder how many things you think about before you get to me I wonder how many things you wanna do You think I'm in between I feel myself falling further down your priorities And I still make excuses for you constantly I wonder how many things you think about Before Before you get to me Remember when you left once that never made too much sense to me. God, this one is like beautiful. Well, it hurt you so bad hurting me. You really came to me for sympathy. Oh, I consider you and I'm not trying to. It doesn't matter whether or not I want to. I can't help it. It's a habit. Your corner in my mind is well established I, I wonder how many things you think about before you get to me I wonder how many things you want to do you think I'm in between And I feel myself falling further down your priorities and I still make excuses for you constantly I wonder how many things you think about Before Before you get to me Am I not Even a second thought Many things you think about before you get to me. Mm. I wonder how many things you want to do. You think I'm in between. I feel myself falling further down your priorities, and I still make excuses for you constantly. I wonder how many things you think about before. Before you get to me Wonder how many things That one's so simple but yet so effective. Like like I was saying earlier, I love when she lets her voice shine on a song. This one the production was scaled back, letting her voice come out. And she made it unique, even getting to the chorus where she doubled up on her voice again and then pulled it back and the beat would cut and go back into it.
production is so well in the album to keep you interested. Like, even when it gets to slower moments, like how many things? I mean, it's great, man. Let's go. Bet you won it. I'm right. Keep up the trend, baby. The production is so unique on this. See, this is the stuff I'm talking about. She could have kept this like, you know, a pop song we hear all the time, but then her producers start adding more instruments on top of it to make it super unique. At the end, I don't know what was coming in. It was like, dun, 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 dun. At the end, I don't even know what that was, but hey, if I listen to it again, I'd probably know. But, um, and the beat's so groovy. A lot of these have just been, when she goes for that vibe, it's groovy, man. I hope her... Her um, uh, newer album is like this. Still unique. I'm glad she's getting the recognition. I know she's already been like known. I know she was on Disney Channel and stuff. Um, so I know she was already known. But now she's getting huge recognition. She has like 90 million monthly listeners on Spotify right now. So let's go with number nine, Nonsense. Don't leave me alone You said you like my eyes And you like to make them roll Treat me like a queen Now you got me feeling thrown uh -huh. But I can't help myself When you get close to me Baby, my tongue goes numb Sounds like bleh, bleh, bleh I don't want no one else Baby, I'm in too deep Here's a little song I wrote It's about you and me I'll be honest Looking at you got me thinking nonsense in my stomach when you walk in 
When you got your arms around me, oh, it feels so good. I had to jump the octave. It sounds like such an Ariana song. That's funny. It did make it. I love how she was just having fun on that song. I feel like that's a big song because I feel like I've heard that for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, it must be. eight hundred. It's got a lot of streams, so I must have heard that. But I love how she she titled it Nonsense. and she. I think she actually did what she was saying in the song. She woke up that morning and just started writing nonsense into a pop song. And it ended up being really big because she could do... This song is catchier than Chicken Pox is. Like, dude, she's just fooling around. So that that was fun. Let's go number 10, Fast Times. Sons up too soon like daylight savings. Mixed emotions are congregating. Picturing us in all these places. Ahead of myself, it's an understatement. Nasty. Couple days and I call you baby. Three stories up, you're contemplating. But what the fuck is patience? These are fast times and fast nights. Yeah, no time for rewrites. We couldn't help it. Outlines on bed sides. Yeah, give me a second to forget I ever really meant it. Fast times and fast nights.
Nice. That's one of my favorites, too. The groove on that. The violence. She's loving the violence on this album, and I'm loving it, too. Um, super catchy, once again. I mean, I, I think this is like... Yeah, this is how you make a pop record right here. It goes from songs that are a little bit more low-key that let her voice and the lyrics stand out to songs like Fast Times and Nonsense and Because I Like the Boy, you know... Yeah, this shit is awesome. Um, and I don't say shit as in it's shit. I mean just this shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's go number 11, skinny dipping. You guys ever been skinny dipping? I have not. I'm too scared to do that. Especially in a lake or something. It seems nasty, you know? It'll be a Wednesday. I'll be going in this coffee shop. Hear the barista call an oat milk latte in your name And I look up from my phone and think there's no chance it's you But it is You'll say hi, I'll say hi, how are you? You'll say how's your family, how's your sister? I'll say Shannon's being Shannon After a minute of nonsensical chatter You'll say, well this was really nice Maybe we should do this on purpose sometime <laughs> Now it'll be long enough That we won't harp on Arguments in your garage All the ways we sabotaged it What it was and what it wasn't We've been swimming On the edge of a cliff I'm resisting But going down with the ship It'd be so nice, right? Right? If we got resisting But going down with the ship It'd be so nice, right? Right? If we could take it off and just take The subtle trumpets. Skinny dipping, water under the bridge. This is what I mean by it's the little stuff. Like on this, on these choruses, the little trumpets in the background going. Dun, 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 dun. This is what a lot of other pop artists need to stand out. She's doing it right, in my mind. I mean, it's just my opinion, obviously. Um, but I look for that stuff. I listen to that stuff. And that makes shit so much better to me. Another one that I really like. And she also paints really good pictures within her lyrics, like arguments in your garage. I'm in a coffee shop, you know, waiting for the barista to call my name. Like, she paints pictures. This is good stuff. She's a good artist. Let's go to number 12, Bad for Business. He's good for my heart, but he's bad for business. Tears me apart when he grants my wishes. All of my friends think I've gone crazy, but they don't know me like my baby. We look good in photographs. I like the way you like to laugh at dirty jokes. I know they'll always land. Used to get to work on time. Taking up my nights, never been so glad to be so tired. So, this is why it's so important. I was thinking about this while listening to this. It's so important to listen to artist album. You can judge an artist off of a hit song, right? So, you can judge her off of Expresso and Please, Please, Please. 
or uh, I guess a hit song like Nonsense and think like, oh my god, I'm not going to listen to her. This is literally just everything else I've ever heard. And I'm not saying I don't like Espresso and Please, Please, Please and all that. But you know, Espresso is like super overplayed at this point. Um, good song. But you could be like, oh, this is like, you know, blah, blah, blah. When you listen to the artist's album that have hits, like, uh, I was guilty of doing that with Taylor Swift. I didn't want to listen to her because of the hit songs that I heard. Turns out, I actually like her albums, but this is what you can get into. You can find artists that you really like and are very different from what their hit songs portray. And she is, and she's very unique, and she's damn good. Let's go last track, Decode. You're good at the fall and not the staying there. You're good at the giving too much than getting scared. You're good at impersonating someone who cares. And you had me for a minute there. But now I wonder why I let your confusion keep me up at night. I'm so tired. We read every single undertone and I overanalyzed it from back and beside it. Where else can we go? There's no cellar to the decode. Don't look in for signs and the gaps in the silence. Ah. It's just getting old. There's nothing left to the decode. Great way to end it. Great song at the end there. You know, I've said everything I've said throughout here. She is a very... I feel like she's di she has enough to make her different as a pop artist. She puts these things in her songs that the production stands out with the violins, the, the cutoffs, and letting her voice come through. Everything they do to when she gets into the bridges and she uses a different technique in her voice to get to the chorus. I... I I know I, I'm sitting here, I'm analyzing it like I'm a damn music professional and I know it, but this is the stuff that I just notice when I listen to music. I really like this record. This is good. This is a really good album. I think my favorite songs are uh, Because I Like the Boy. Fast Times. Tornado Warnings. Read, read Your Mind. What was the other song that I really liked? Oh, the the slow song that let her her voice her voice come through. How many things? Um, yeah, guys, this was really good. I appreciate you all for recommending it. 
Um, I'm really excited for her new album. After listening to this, I'm a fan. Sign me up. I am a fan. Um, and she had... Wait, she's got... Wait a second. So emails I can't send and then emails I can't forward came out the next year. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a deluxe edition. Oh, right? Yeah, it's just a deluxe. Okay, I thought it was a completely different album. I'm okay with that. I was like, oh shit, we have another one. So how many albums does she have? Dang, she's been singing since 2015. Dang. Alright, what's her new album called? Short and Sweet. Comes out August 23rd. It's got 12 songs on it. Alright, well, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the album. Do you guys like her as an artist? Do you... Whatever. What do you guys think about her? Um, oh, so her, bid song, her big songs are the ones I really like, too. Because I like the boy. That's really good. Um, yeah, what do you guys think of this album? Do you like the emails I can't forward better? Maybe I should do... Uh, that as well, the deluxe version or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I will be doing her new album. Yeah. Appreciate you guys for watching, as always. And uh, yeah, let me know what you want next. Love you all. Have a good one. Peace out.